Hey guys, Lima here. 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 My name is Luke Jackson. I'm 17 and I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. My Instagram handle is the same as the channel that you're watching this on, and that's Lima Echo Numismatics. What you just saw at the beginning of the video has been the intro on my YouTube channel for the past six years, where I've been sharing my passion for numismatics as well as my collection as it has been growing. My coin collection started a long time ago with something kind of like this, just a regular piggy bank, and I would always count the coins and I'd be so fascinated with how old they were. Like even a coin from 1980 when I was like five seems so old to me. But then my mom showed me this bag one day. This bag she got from my grandfather, who in turn got it from his uncle Norman. And in here are some really cool coins. And these are coins from the South Pacific that uncle Norman got while he was in the Navy during World War II. It's really, really cool to see a coin like this from 1942 from New Zealand in still very nice condition. And you can really tell, you can just imagine where he got it during the time period. And then it was put in this bag and it was kept in there for a long time. And that's why it's still in very nice condition. When I first saw those coins, I couldn't think anything but like, wow, some of these coins were like incomprehensible to me. They seem so old and they were so interesting and unique and I'd, I'd never seen anything like it before. So that was truly the start of a real coin collection beyond what was just in a piggy bank. To foster that interest in coins, my dad got me my very first guidebook to United States coins. And I remember leafing through a book like this, looking at a nickel like this, like, yeah, I've seen that before, I know what that is. I'd leaf through and I'd see a new coin that I'd never seen before and I was like, what? Nickels used to look like that and then I'd turn the page again and I'd be like, what? They used to, and it was, every time I turned the page, it was a new spark of passion for coins. The search for sparks of passion and wow moments like that continues and it has been continuing it to this day. Most recently, I've started getting into ancient coins. This was my very first ancient coin and this was one of those coins that sparked one of those wow moments and really makes me passionate for coins. That's also why I searched for a job for the very first time in 2020 at the Coin Index in Greenwood. This is my local coin shop. I'd been shopping there for maybe about half a year before I ever asked to work there but I wanted to get some experience within the industry and learn even more about coins while working there. In fact, at first I even offered to just volunteer. I didn't originally want to get paid to work there. All I wanted to do was volunteer and be there just to learn more about coins. And here's a quick word from the owner of the Coin Index that she was so kind to film for me. Hi, my name is Michelle Wenzel and I'm the president and owner of the Coin Index in Greenwood, Indiana. In July of 2020, Luke Jackson came to work at our store with us on Saturdays. Luke is a valuable asset to our team. He helps us with sorting wheat scents, and he also helps us by locating coins that we need for our inventory as well as customers. Luke also helps us with researching foreign coins, and he's always asking for more work to do so that he can learn and grow in the coin industry. We feel that Luke would benefit from attending the Witter Coin University and we hope that you will consider him for a scholarship. Thank you for your time and have a great day. At Witter U, I would be searching for more of those wow moments that this bag of poker money, that this red book brought me, that ancient coins brought me. I'd be searching for more of those sparks of passion, those moments that really make you say wow, those moments that make you learn. And all at the same time, I'd be sharing it with other people who have the same experience and the same passion for coins at the same time. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Peace. That's my outro I always do on my YouTube channel.